So what's going on guys welcome back to another video and i hope you've been preparing for runes because if you don't know runes are just around the corner and if you've been following my twitter really closely you know that where i showed you how you can set up the note but in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can do it step by step on the video so it's going to be very easy to follow so first we're going to start off with the requirements so as you can see you'll need to have at least one terabyte on your ssd drive if you have the hdd it's going to take a really long time and on the top of that, you'll need to have a really fast internet connection. And regarding your storage again, it's going to take around 800 gigabytes. So be prepared to have at least one terabyte. So step number two, you'll need to go to official website of Bitcoin Core. And here you'll need to download this on your Windows machine. So this tutorial is going to be Windows. So once you download it and you run the installer, it's going to look like this. So I definitely recommend you guys to download it on this separate drive. So let me show you how it looks like on my drive. So you can see I have this drive here and it's and basically it was empty and your Bitcoin core is going to be saved in here. So don't worry about the data or and any additional files. I'm going to be showing you what you can do in this future section of these videos. And also tomorrow I'm going to be making another video on runes, how you can edge stuff, how you can mint stuff and doing a bunch of very, very interesting things. To be really word preferred for runes but right now we're taking it step by step and if you want to install that correctly you'll need to go ahead and um basically just create your bitcoin directory you don't have to create a node one it's better if you're just gonna install it into bitcoin so ignore the node uh, folder just do bitcoin and save it there so select the custom data directory and then start the installer so once you're gonna install that and you're gonna run it it's going to start synchronizing with the bitcoin network and it might take you from eight hours to even a couple of days. So it really depends on your SSD drive and also on your internet connection. You can leave it running. You can also close that if you want to turn off your computer. Once you're going to run it again tomorrow, the next day, it's going to open in the same place when you left off last time. So this is going to take a quite a significant amount of time. So you have to be really patient if you want to set it up. So right now, this is where we're going to go a bit technical. So let me show you what you have to do. So once you're going to sync your file, you just make sure you have everything closed. Uh, so you don't have to run this bitcoin core you will need to go ahead to your daemon directory so just open it up and what you want to do you want to go to your bitcoin core uh, directory so in my case is bitcoin and then you want to go ahead and go to the daemon directory so open it up and here you have a ton of different applications that we want to go ahead and change some properties and create a shortcut so in this example we're going to click on bitcoin d and first of all, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and right click on it you want to click on show more options and here you want to click on create a shortcut so once you do that, you can go ahead and move this shortcut to your desktop. So it's going to be easily accessible. But if you want to keep it in the same directory, you can do that. So once you have that, what you want to do, you want to right click on it. And then you want to click on properties. And in the properties, you will see your directory. So in the target section, we're going to input our commands. So you will see your target uh, for your Bitcoin D uh, executable file. So this one, you're not going to change anything. But you can see we have the next command, which is called data dir. So I'm just going to put it in this uh, description of this video so you can copy it. So you're not going to misspell any um, commands. So you'll do dash data dir equal sign and then your path for your Bitcoin core uh, directory. So essentially what you will need to do, you will need to go to this drive where you save your Bitcoin node. Right click on your directory and then copy as path. So once you copy that, you will need to go here and essentially um, select this file path and then paste that in. Just make sure you remove the double colons. So you have one column there and the second column there. And the last command you want to add at the end is the dash TX index equal sign and one. So once you got that, you can click on apply and then OK. And all of these comments you can find in my tweet. So I'm going to link these tweets as well in the bottom. So now the next thing you can do, you can download the index database from oldstuff.info website. And we're going to do that because we want to save time. Because if you want to index that on your own, it's going to take a really long time probably somewhere around a one day time or even more it really depends on your drive and internet connection but if you're going to download it it's going to take probably 10 times quicker than if you indexed it from the console so on the website we have the pre-built indexes so we're going to download the latest one for 0.18 old version so what we're going to do is to click on the pre-built indexes and as we're doing this on windows we're going to select the latest version and in here you have this index 0.18 without thoughts so this file has around 26 gigabytes and is zipped but if you're going to unzip it it's going to have around 70 gigabytes so now first of all what you want to do you want to download this file so go ahead and download it and save it into your ssd drive once you're going to do it it's going to start downloading the next step what you can do you can create a folder called data 
So the, in this folder, you will essentially see one file called index. You're not going to see it because this, fo this file, we're going to drag and drop and we're going to unzip it from this zipped file. So you want to unzip it. Then you want to see this file called index.18 without sats. You want to change the name of that to index.this. And then you want to drag this file from this zipped file. It sounds a little bit complicated, but essentially you're going to unzip it and then move this file from this directory that you unzip it and move it to data. And just remember that you want to change name of this file to essentially index.redb. So that's pretty much what you have to do. And as you can see, this file has 71 gigabytes. So it's going to take some time, but it's definitely not going to be that long as, for example, if you've been uh, indexing it from straight from the console. So now once we got this index sorted, what we want to do now is to download the old wallet. So the link will be down below and you want to download the 0.18 version of ORT. And this version was released 20 hours ago. So guys, you are really early and I definitely recommend you guys to update your indexes and also the old wallet. So in here, you will now go ahead and download the Windows version. So this will be the third option. And pretty much similarly as the previous step, you want to save it on your SSD drive and you want to unzip it. So this folder is going to basically be called as this one. You want to change the name to ORT and you want to, you're going to have all of these files as I do have in here. So just change the name to ORT wallet or ORT wherever you really want. And once you're going to open it, you're going to see that we have this um, ORT executable file. So next up, we're going to spin the Bitcoin D client and also we're going to run the ORT wallet on the top of that. So you want to go ahead to your desktop and then you want to run the Bitcoin D. So just double click on it. And when you're going to run it first time, it's going to take some time because you never run it before. So just be patient, maybe run it for a couple of minutes. And when you're going to see your block number, like for example, 838883, and you can verify that on mempool as well. So you can go to mempool and you will see that the last confirmed block is A3. is basically the same one what you can see in your console. So let it run for some time. And when you're going to see the same results, you can go ahead and we can go back to our explorer. And here you just want to be in the old wallet. And right now you want to click on the URL here and just say CMD. This is going to open up the command line interface and here you what you want to do so first you will need to go ahead and just say ort ort.exe file and right now you will need to just say specify the cookie file so just say cookie uh, file and then equal sign and now you will need to go back to your explorer then go back to your bitcoin node um, directory where you installed that previously and you will notice that we have this cookie file so you want to right click on it and then you want to copy as path and you want to go back to your console, right click on it, and it's going to paste automatically. So once you have that, you can go ahead and I uh, will need to specify also our index directory. So index equals sign. And we want to go back and we want to open up the data directory. So double click on it. And then you want to click on your index, right click, and then copy as path. And you want to go back to your command line first and then right click on it again. And after that, just space and then type server. So once you got that ready, you can click enter. And now this is going to start indexing your files again. But this is going to take only a few minutes. Definitely faster than indexing it from scratch. If you're not going to download it, it's going to take a really, really long time. So I definitely recommend you guys to download the pre-built index from old staff website. So now we got this ready. So you can see our server is running. So you want to leave it in the background. When you're going to be working with old wallet, you just want to leave it somewhere. And then you want to go back again to your uh, directory where you have your old wallet installed. So double click on it and then just say CMD. And right now uh, you can just open it on the side. So we have two terminals and you can just let one running. So don't try to close the server. And uh, what you want to do is in this one, you just want to say um, again, ort.exe ort file and then cookie, um, cookie file. And then we want to paste our cookie file. And now what you can do is to specify the wallet command. So you want to just say wallet. And then after that, you want to say create. So I'm not going to do that because I created my wallet already. But this essentially will create your old wallet directory. So once you're going to do that, it's going to dump your secret recovery phrase. So make sure you guys save it. So once you have that, we can learn about different commands. So you want to do the cookie file, wallet, and then double dash help. And you'll see different commands like, for example, balance, batches, create, dump, mint, receive. So, for example, we can go ahead and uh, we can just say balances. So uh, you will need to do wallet and then balance. And you'll see that I don't have anything in this wallet, like it's cardinals, ordinals, runes, runic, total. 
In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how you can essentially create your runes token. And I'm going to be showing you also how you can mint them. So it's going to be simple step-by-step -step tutorial. So you can follow that and be well prepared for runes. Also, you can see interesting command mint runes. So uh, definitely, I think it's really important to update this to the latest version. So you're not going to have any bugs when this is going to be useful when the entire rune standard was going to be live. We might see really interesting meme coins popping up out of nowhere. So you're going to be well prepared when it's going to be ready.